Welcome to the screencast where I'm going to show you how to get images from openclipart.org. So this is one of my favorite websites that I use. Openclipart.org is a clip art gallery where people that create different images and graphics can upload them here for others to use. So this is all created by users not using any other copyrighted works. And the, uh, the point of doing this is that anything that's put here can be used by anyone for any reason. So if you need an image to put into a document or a presentation, or if you're making a t-shirt design, you can come and use this. This is all public domain imagery, and that's listed down here in the footer of the site. So just a great free resource for anyone to use. How I typically use this is when I come here, the front page has, you know, most popular clip art of the week, uh, newest clip art. This just kind of showcases, you know, what people are using. Over on the right side, there's a browse clip art box that has some keywords in it that you could click on to find images related to that keyword. What I tend to do is I tend to come up here and use the search box and I type in a word related to what I'm looking for. So let me jump to another tab. I'm currently working in a Google document and I'm writing a paper on plagiarism. So I want to put an image right here that goes along with my topic. So I'm going to actually put some returns in here to leave some space. And I want to put the image right about here and maybe center it up. I'm going to go back over to open clip art. I'm going to hit return. And when I search for pen, here are some different images that come up for pen. And I'll find one and I'll click on the one I want. When you get to the page that is about that piece that you're looking at here, um, if this size is good enough, you can actually just click and hold and drag and drop this right onto the uh, Google document that you have open. So in this case, I'm using Chrome for sure. This works in the Chrome browser where I click and hold on this picture with my trackpad or my mouse. If I mouse up to where I get my mouse arrow onto this tab, notice there's like a little arrow that appears up there. This is telling me I've switched to that tab. Now I can drag and kind of put this where I want. And the cursor line that you see blinking there on the left, wherever I let go of the click is where that picture will be dropped. So I'm going to let go right there. Picture gets dropped right into my document. I can click on the picture and use these resize boxes to kind of size this up. I'm going to use my centering built into the Google Docs toolbar here to kind of center that. I've got a big gap here. I might bring this back up and I might center up my title, make it look nicer, follow whatever, however your teacher tells you, you know, what type of formatting to use for your, for your documents. So there's an example of bringing something into a document. If I needed the picture to be bigger than this size, when you scroll down here, there's this box that says PNG and you can, it says here, you can type the resolution to make that image bigger. When you get an image from here, it has to be a PNG file. If I were to click on this file, on this picture right here, this takes me to a very large version of this, but this is not a file type that I can use. And I know that because when I look up here in the address, this ends in SVG. There are two types of files that Open Clip Art, uh, the gallery, the website uses, SVG and PNG. PNG will work in documents and in presentations. I'm going to bring a picture over here in a minute. SVG is for higher end graphic programs like Adobe Illustrator. Um, so you want to make sure you get a PNG file. If I needed a bigger PNG file than this, I could actually type a larger number in here. So say I want an 800 sized, and that's in pixels, 800 pixel sized image. I could type 800, hit PNG, and now this ends in PNG, which means I could actually click and drag and use this one. So that gets a little technical, but just want to point that out. If you ever try to get an image from here and it's not working, make sure you're getting a PNG image. Let's do another example. I'm working in a Google presentation and I want to put a picture here. This is all about using the Chrome browser and I want to put a picture here of a laptop because that makes sense with, with what I'm doing. So I just did a search in open clip art for laptop and let's find one that works here. Let's use, we'll use this one. So I click on this one and that looks big enough for what I want to do or I could come down here and type in a bigger number if I needed to. I'm going to click and hold on this and drag it up to that tab and hold there until it shifts over to the presentation. And I'm going to drop this right into my, uh, right onto my slide. And I can resize this, making this a little bigger, probably won't look too pixelated. I might put this here, do a little layering or ordering where I put the, the logo for whatever I'm presenting right in the screen there, make it look nice. So just a great resource to find some very cartoony, generic, uh, images that you might want to use. You can also, if you need to take that image into another project, if you click and hold on it, you can drag and drop it to your desktop. 
And then if you had to upload that into a website, if you're creating a Google site or into another program where you need to get your image, you can actually upload it right from your desktop. So different ways to get images uh, from clipart, openclipart.org, and different ways to use them. So hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.